Chelsea and I love colorful things. And we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Buried Challenge Blue Generation. Last time we tried to get our grades up somewhat successfully. I had a lot of comments from you guys that were kind of aggressive. I love you all to pieces and I totally understand. I could be frustrating watching someone fail at something that you think is very obvious or simple. I literally read all of your guys' comments and I'm a very sensitive person. So if you could please uh, keep in mind to give comments with love and respect, but I do appreciate your guys' feedback. I've had plenty of students all required to get A's and sometimes they would just get A's without me having to do the homework, but I could be really wrong on that. I've just never noticed that be a requirement. I also noticed I have a mod called the Quiet Stacy Better Schools mod, which does do a lot of adjustments to schooling, a lot of which I like, but I know that it does mess a little bit with the high school years pack specifically. It doesn't allow me to study on Fridays for the exams, but I figured out what have you guys figured out. So thank you so much that it does have to do with the mod and the mod does remove that option. So this time around, we can finally study for the finals and I will be doing my homework and we're gonna be a nice, boring, good girl kid in this challenge just for all of you guys because I love you so much. So show me some love back if you are already and hit that subscribe button. My goal is 1 million subscribers, which is the craziest thing. We've got a ways to go. So if you want to help this girl out, I would appreciate it. Let's hop into the video. Woo, there's our girl. Oh my God, she looks so good with that like icy snow in the background. Just, ooh, so much blue. So unfortunately, she is still a B student. She's not yet done her homework. It is a Thursday and she is not having a lot of fun. It is snowing. I feel like she could jog to clear mine right now. We're gonna like put away some of the holiday decor since technically it is now after Winterfest. Okay, so she's taking her jog. It's helping her tenseness. She likes it. She thinks it's fun. Now she's uncomfortable and tired. Great. Let's take a thoughtful shower. She's really tired. We might nap after it. I'm not entirely sure what should be the chain of events here because I kind of want her to be in a good mood to do her homework, but also she doesn't have to be in the best mood. Now she's feeling confident. Okay, maybe this is a good time. She can grab some leftover food and then her dad can help her with her homework before hopefully she passes out. But we're gonna get some food. Baby Robin's birthday is tomorrow and ours is next week. Ugh, it's so long from now. Why don't you sit down to do your homework and we're gonna have dad come over and help her with her homework. Dad, come here. She's focused, he's focused. She's listening to electronica, which is helping with her fun a bit while she's doing her homework. Oh my gosh, and look, it's Julius Cobb. He's come over because he's got a gift for us. Oh, Julius, look at him, such a handsome guy. Part of me was rooting for Julius for her one true love, but she's a big fan of her man, Vincent. We're almost done with our homework. I know you guys also said we could do some of these school projects and that would help. We'll see how much time she has because she's literally about to pass out. She's gonna do her extra credit now too. Can't stop, won't stop, girl. It's only 8.30, you can go to bed when you're dead. Did you not do your extra credit? I said what I said, she keeps telling me no. Is she going to bed? She's like, I'm going upstairs to do it. Sure you are. She's like, I'm just gonna sit on my mom's bed to do it. Okay, she is starting to do it though. And she stopped. All right, well, fair enough. I can't force her to do it apparently. So let's get her to bed. Cringe from social buddy post. I just need to express this uncomfortableness. I have a sleep replacement drink. Maybe I'll drink that really quick instead of going to bed. We're just gonna do the old fashioned teenage all nighter. She's already feeling better. Oh, look at Robin learning her little chitty chat. And Julius is hanging out with my mom, which is kind of random, but I love it. Woohoo, extra credit complete. Good job, girl. She's gonna go use the restroom and then she's gonna talk to Julius. Discuss interest. Oh, my cat's attacking him. Here we go. We're talking to Julius in my parents' bedroom. We're like, hello, good to see you. I heard that you came to give me a gift. Oh my God, my cat, I'm sorry about my cat. Oh my God, I didn't realize that Kiwi and River don't have that good of a relationship. I'm wondering if River's just more of a dog girl versus Ivy's like, that cat is my child. She's gonna go downstairs and get some food, I guess, if you're just gonna chat and not give me the gift. I thought she just ate, but I guess she must've like not eaten that much. Oh, she's gonna finally get 
get the gift. I'm pretty much done with our water doo doo. You mind if I hang for a bit? You can hang. It is snowing outside. Oh, a seed packet. Okay. I am a teenage girl, so that's not really my fave hobby, but I love it. Something going on with my mom? Hurt sentiment. She. River feels wronged by Ivy and being around Ivy will remind River of that pain. Oh my God, what did her mom just do? Maybe a smooth apology. Okay, my apparently my daughter accepted my apology and no longer has that sentiment about Ivy. Okay, well something went down between these two, but it was it's water under the bridge now. I think we'll do the medieval castle diorama and we're gonna change the music to metal because that's her favorite. While she does her schoolwork, she's listening to metal and our little sister Mr. Robin should go to bed. Maybe you should go home, Julius. Okay, we love you. You're so fun. Why do all of the guests pick up the random violin in this room? River, meanwhile, drank an energy drink and is just now like going at it, okay? She's listening to her favorite tunes. She's like, yeah! Medieval castle project. She's hysterical. Luckily, she's a teen and I don't think you can die from that, but I'm just gonna save this really quick right here, just in case. Her mom died of laughter as well, but I'm pretty sure that's like a mood swing thing that like teens can get. Mom's downstairs. We're gonna assist our daughter with the project. Apparently like mother, like daughter. They both like their metal music. We're hanging out with the cat. It's snowing outside. It would be a cozy evening if not for the blaring metal music that we're doing. Royal has a loose tooth apparently. He woke up in pain. Royal, do you wanna rip it out of your head? Wiggle that tooth, Royal. On the toilet, no less. Does it make it worse? I think it made it worse. Yeah. Wiggle tooth. Royal could help it. A wobbly tooth must be investigated and he made himself even more uncomfortable. Poor Bean. These two still hard at work. Ivy's such a good mom. Look at this little diorama they got going on too. I'm like, okay, castle kit. Let's go. Yes, it's all done. We finished it quickly. Good job, girl. And there you have it. We did one of them. I feel like we won't do the other one just because I don't, I feel like I'm sure it would be great to do both, but I don't feel like we need it. We're really close. If we don't get it tomorrow, something's wrong. This was never here. I wanna just point this out. Study for exam was not here before because of course I had this mod. So now I can study for the exam, which actually I forgot. We should do that because it's Friday, Friday's exam day. So she's turning off the tunes. No, she's still listening to the metal music and she's gonna study to exams. And look who's here, it's Royal watching. I don't know, some sort of like space looking thing. Maybe he wants to write sci-fi books because he was a big book fan as a kid. I love that he just put on TV, although she's listening to metal music and they're both okay with this. This would drive me up a wall. I would want to pull my own hair out. It's a lot of stimulation. All right, I think she's done. Change the channel. This is such an older sister thing to do. Be like, actually, I'm going to watch my shows, which is of course the cooking channel. You're already almost level seven. So yeah, we're changing the channel. Bye brother. I think we'll watch until we reach level seven and then I'll have our nap. Yeah, Royal and River start school in about an hour. Well then maybe we won't nap. Spent all night or getting all our stuff done. Aww, they just had a hug. That's so cute. Apparently he doesn't much mind the cooking show and was willing to watch it because she wants to watch it. She's getting her cooking skill done and we're gonna join her at, no, we're gonna send her alone. I wish I could go with you to school, but hopefully we'll be celebrating this weekend. And she's already at excellent, boom. I don't even have to make her work hard. We're just gonna have her stay there. We're not gonna touch anything. Meanwhile, Royal, poor baby angel is a C student. Maybe you should study hard. I literally haven't put in any effort into Royal's academics. Oh, and he's sick. Look at him. He's got little stripes on his face. So that's great. And I let him go to school. Today is our baby girl's birthday though. Little Robin's gonna age up. Oh no, what's wrong with Kiwi? Why are you tense? Let's go chat with Kiwi. Give Kiwi some love and affection. Could give Kiwi a treat. Oh, it's New Year's Eve. It's tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Oh my gosh, is River sick too? Ivy has a major deadline approaching and needs to find a way to knock it out. What should she do? Hide in a closet or ask for help? Oh, you should obviously ask for help. And she gained some performance, great. She's stuffed up, so she got her little brother's sickness too. Okay, it went away. Apparently she got over the cold. It was just a little bout of sniffles. Nothing to be concerned about versus little brother is mostly just worried about his loose tooth and his little stripes went away. So let's go. So Royals, grades are up. He's a B student. And River, are your grades up? She is an A student officially and she's kind of half into her mom, but she's an A student. We did it guys. But she's also mortified from having a mood swing. The rest of it looks good though. And dad luckily is now, wait, what? Have a child earn an A in high school, but she just did. Is it because she's not officially his child? 
she is officially his child though, right? Oh my gosh, it's not considering her his child because that's Kate and Lopez's kid. No, you're kidding me. Uh, River's an A student to impress her dad and it doesn't even make him successful. This is why she's got trauma and issues, my friends. Let's cook something because she's wanting some food. She's a little hungry and she's feeling sad. Making some chili sounds kind of nice, especially on like a cold winter's day. River is performing superbly. She can graduate early if she talks to the principal or uses the computer. I mean, that could be kind of fun. I haven't had a sim graduate early. We could also technically age her up early and just kind of move along with the story. Okay, that mood swing is so scary. I will say that right now. Let me know if in the next episode we should just age her up a little early and get, get things moving since her parenting skill really can't happen until she's an adult. And I don't know if I want to wait like a full week in Sims time. Speaking of waiting a full week and aging people up, we should be cooking a cake for my little sis. We'll maybe do that after our, we eat our chili. Oh my God, the cat! I was like, who is dying? It's Kiwi. I, I was so scared that it was our dad. Wait, that's so sad, Kiwi. No, Kiwi. Meanwhile, father daughter having playtime right next to it. Oh God, what a birthday for I Robin. Her cat dies on her birthday. What is it about these poor kids and having terrible birthdays? I'm pretty sure River also had someone die on her birthday. Oh, RIP Kiwi. You are a little good baby. That's super duper unfortunate for everybody involved. Oh my God. Grim, why are you laughing and checking out Fletcher, okay? We know he's a cutie patootie, but knock it off. Also, I hate that his hair turned back into this one. Like, I'm pretty sure I gave him some new hair and it went back to that one in his other outfit. That's okay though. We're gonna cook our little sister a birthday cake blue confetti cake because that's the cake that we just had on the channel on Wednesday. And also it is blue gen, so it makes sense. Well, now we have Kiwi Berry. Ivy has several graves here. We've got Kiwi, we've got her own grave. I forgot about that. It's kind of weird. Sweet, sweet river not having a good go of it, but she is level seven of cooking. Yay, go river. Grim, I, th I need you to go. I need you to leave. Don't get, get out of my, Oh, he's cleaning out my fridge and washing my dishes. All right, well, never mind. Maybe I judged you too harshly, Grim. Maybe you're just a friendly caretaker that helps people go to the next part of their life. And now he also, just like everybody else, wants to go to bed after work. Now we have one less little bean in the house which means I think that it might be soon time for River to get her pet. Normally I try to wait until they kind of move out of the house, mainly so that the pet doesn't die super young. I think that it might make us happy in this episode or the next one to get a pet, so we'll see. Let's help block candles with mom. Yes, it's time for our sweet baby girl's birthday and River's decided to. Are you not gonna watch your little sister blow out her candles? Probably not. She's pretty mortified and tired, so she's gonna go to bed. It's gonna be a little bit of a low Low key birthday for our girl, Robin. But happy birthday, Robin! Mom's mini me. I'm excited to see what she looks like as a kid. She's pretty cute. Oh my gosh, Robin aged up and she's evil. Let me know in the comments if I should keep that. That's pretty funny. I'm gonna let her be mental. She's a smart, evil little girl and she's very sad. Well, maybe that's why she's evil. She watched on the day of her birthday, her cat died. True villain origin story right there. So let's uh, hop in and edit our girl Robin. Give her a little makeover, see what she looks like. Oh my gosh, she's got all these freckles. She has brown eyes like dad and her, her eyebrows do not match her hair, but I think we can do, yes, we can do some custom content eyebrows that'll match the hair. And here's our hair option. I do like the pigtail options. I think I'm gonna keep the pigtails because they're cute. And of course our Robin was like a bit of a chaotic dresser, which I think is very fun. I'm gonna keep that up. So we're gonna kind of randomize her top. Oh, I like this top. That one's kind of fun. Does it come in a cool, a better color here? I like the purple. We're gonna randomize her bottoms a bit. Okay, randomize the shoes. I'd like that she'd be a cozy girly. Oh my God, this top is so cute for little kids. This is hard because I do love her little chaotic vibe, but also there's a lot of really cute little fits to be had. But I like this idea that she's a little bit of her own kind of kid, doesn't necessarily have everything match. Maybe I'll randomize the pants a few more times. 
Here we go. I like this kind of pastel look for Robin. This is hilarious. See, this is what I was looking for. This vest look is like very hard to match to the skirt. Maybe we do, we'll maybe try to do like pinks or yellow. Maybe we'll do yellow. And then for the socks, we'll do pink. So it's kind of like all pink and yellowish. That's what I was looking for. Okay, maybe we need like a fun print skirt. Isn't there more plaid skirts here? There we go. We've got more plaid. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, there we go. We're looking a little sillier now. Athletic wear, I think we could do better. I like this idea that these weird mismatched socks is kind of her thing. I'm gonna do that and then these ones and then for shoes. Perfect, yeah, this is her look for fitness. Maybe we'll give her a fun hat. There we go, her fitness. Sleepwear. Kind of love these like funky looking ones, but I want different color for the top here. There we go. All right, party wear. This is not as funny as it could be. Maybe like one of these. And then yeah, we'll do some fun pants. Her signature socks. So here's Robin, our mismatched kooky queen who definitely belongs on the Disney Channel at some point. I like her style. I like that it doesn't always match and it's very bright and colorful. And I feel like it's also maybe time to upgrade their bedroom at some point. So we'll have to do that. Speaking of which, we are actually in, in the aforementioned bedroom right now. So let's uh, delete that. And I wanna get her like a, just like a kooky bed. I feel like there's a plenty of beds that have like fun colors or textures. Maybe it's the high school years bed. Here it is. This is the one that's like weird looking. That's the bed I was thinking of. It looks like they took like our big sister's old bed and painted it and like gave it a new like <laughs> comforter. Their room style is a little, all over the place. So we're definitely gonna have to do some upgrades at some point. Right now, I think our girl Robin can just hit, hit the bed. Oh, she's just gonna cry it out. She had a really rough day. Misses her cat. She definitely grew up with that cat, like playing with it as a little bean. And I think Ivy's really, really upset. Although no, she's very confident right now. I don't know why. Enemies demise from losing an enemy. Who was your enemy that just died? It couldn't have been your cat. Someone one died that was her enemy, which she's feeling awesome about it, which is so funny. That's just absolute brutal. Everyone's heading to bed. He wants to mentor a child's homework. I'm just, that's just, I'm flab. No, no, no. His successful lineage went up. Yay. It just took a little bit to register, but it worked. Okay. Yes. Let's go. So now he needs to mentor your child three times. Have a child complete an aspiration. He's got one of those. Check. Have a child or grandchild reach the top of a career. Well, that, he's gonna have River Berry doing that. So there you have it. He's already like in level three of four. This is, I think, his final thing of his successful lineage here. God, I would kill for this office area that River has. This is so pretty. I know I built it, but just seeing that wall of books, I'm like, dang, that's so nice. Whoa, Royal lost his tooth. Why don't you put it under your pillow though? It's time to head to bed. If you're lucky, wake up and you'll have a nice surprise from Tooth Fairy. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, Ivy's up next. She's thinking about her dad. Yeah, who died? I'm sad. Fletcher's here, not feeling too hot. Poor daddy Fletcher. I think that is his new hair. I don't remember. Let's check it out. I swear I chose some new hair for him so that he and Vincent don't have the same hair. All right, where, where's the new hair? So it didn't save because it was in cold weather and I am a dunce. There we go. All right, now we'll get to see his new longer dad hair. He's got, he's also rocking a bit more of a dad bod right now, which is also very cute. Now his daughter's like got a boyfriend that she's gonna marry and have all her kids with. Oh my gosh, this literally, this end of this challenge is coming up quick. Our little evil queen is up and she needs to pee. So she's just devastated. She's so uncomfy. She's sad because she witnessed death. I mean, what a way of coming of age story for this kid. <laughs> she's gonna go eat some cake for breakfast. And River's also up, oh my God, in filthy stinky. Why don't you go use the toilet and take a shower, River? My tooth is gone, but this gift is no con. Our boy got 62 simoleons. 
Wait, that's so sweet. And he got some tooth fairy certificates. A molar bear poster. Look at him with all his little certificates and stuff on the wall. That's so sweet. Oh, and it's New Year's Eve, except for River doesn't have the New Year's Eve event going on here for her, but she's taking her little bath. She's a gloomy girl because she's dealt with a lot of death in her life. So her mom died when she was a baby and was a ghost all of her youth and then came back to life. Her dad also died her like actual dad and now she's got oh she's asking her mom for advice and then her cat died it's like a lot of a lot of de her grandparents died all before she was an adult it's a lot for a girl my face is a mess i can't go anywhere looking like this what can i do i think our mom would say it's fine just don't overreact and we're also kind of hungry so let's cook Omelette. Yes, let's cook an omelette for ourselves. She's feeling inspired too. This is the perfect time. She's like, thanks mom. You really inspired me. And I'm gonna cook an omelette because I'm really good at that stuff. My little sister Robin is outside doing something. She's playing in the snow, but like, honestly, it's giving Blair Witch Project, like sitting and facing a brick wall to play in the snow. I mean, girl was conceived in a haunted house. So I guess there's that. I thought her brother was too, but it's fine. Ivy's level nine. Ivy didn't even try to level up her parenting and is already level nine. So that's impressive. Get your food together, girl. There she goes. Gonna get her food. Did it level up her skill at all? She's almost level eight. Yes. Yeah. And it looks like my daughter made a mess right here. We're finishing up our food here. We're gonna clean up and then we're gonna go watch our favorite channel, the cooking channel. Is she just hot? What's going on with her? Literally, what is going on? I'm so confused. She keeps like acting weird, but then she's sparkling. So I don't know. Is it because if she's so inspired and she's watching cooking? She doesn't have any moodlets that say she's sick. It's so hard sometimes. I will turn off aging just to see if that does work. See if it helps for today going to prom. We might age her up quick anyway. Especially I could see her getting pregnant really young too. So, you know, graduating early and getting pregnant kind of seems like her kind of vibe. River, did you finish yet? Yes, level eight. She can now ooh, make an apple pie and she can flavorize a meal to make it a higher quality. That's kind of cool. I didn't know you could do that. I suppose we should do our homework again, just to be sure. I don't want her to go down in school now that we're A students. Maybe all the kids will do their homework right now. Yeah, she definitely seems to have a bug or something. Scratchy from illness. Okay, yeah, she finally did get a moodlet that revealed that she is sick. So I'm gonna get her some medicine. River's homework is complete. Good job, River. She drank her medicine. Maybe you could go take a nap on the couch. That always helps me when I feel a little sick. Our boy is doing his homework. Dad, do you wanna go help him? Robin doing her homework. Literally reminds me so much of Ivy. I feel like Ivy and her had the same haircut. Sweet River having a nap after combating a cold waiting to see if we end up getting invited to prom. A get together before prom, do you wanna go? Okay, we'll get all of our friends to go to this get together. She's going to pre-prom. Let us hope we go to prom prom. Why are we, wait, guys, this is Orange Jen's house. It's empty, I think I took all my stuff and sold it. Oh, and it's Addison, Okamoto, which that's all of her dead family, by the way. This is Nicholas Okamoto, Biscuit, Magnus, Kaylee Okamoto, and Arjun Abe. This is a very interesting pre-prom vibe, but Vincent's here. Let's gossip with him, my babe. We're gonna talk a bit about marriage, maybe. He was like, no, let's not talk about that. Yeah, I bet it's cause she's so sad and she brought it up. I feel like we should have like a hug or something. She needs some emotional support from her babe. He seemed to, he seemed to like her. Oh, why does everyone have a violin? Is that a thing? We also have have a violin. Should we do it too? This is so random. All right, me too. I also will be playing my violin. Let's share some melancholy thoughts with our boyfriend. Put away our violin. Everyone else put their violins away as well. And he just disappeared. Everyone is slowly disappearing. It literally feels like I am the last woman on earth. Oh my God. Whoa, Paula. Why would you do that? Why are we feeling smitten? Well, we were feeling smitten because my boyfriend was here. And now someone is making out with my neck. I'm gonna go home. 
this is a weird party. And now she's playing violin again. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Strangerville truly is strange. Let's, um, I guess go use the toilet. Yeah, let's call a sadness hotline. Try to perk ourselves up before prom starts. I think prom starts at six. She's calling on the toilet. Can you like give yourself a little pep talk? Oh God, and then the toilet got broken. Luckily we have enough money to cover it. Okay, we're gonna travel to prom with River. We're gonna hope it works. Prom is functioning. Let's go. She's so sad. Who are all these people? None of you are people from my school. Is my boyfriend here at least? Okay, my boyfriend's here and, oh, and Deshaun who's also looking at us. Ah, uh, drama. We also got Lorenzo, our first crush. And that's really all? None of our friends are here. This is awkward. Let's go in and give him a big old loving hug because we're feeling rough. And she really wants to make out with Vincent and dance at prom. Yeah, dance with Vincent at the prom. Since she, okay, she just did a really weird hug. Vincent's coming on over. She looks so sad. Having their little slow dance at prom. Why don't we vote for prom jester? I think prom jester would be Deshaun. And then maybe we'll vote for prom royalty since my friends aren't here. I guess I'll vote for Vincent. I wish it could be me. Can I like campaign? Oh, use the phone booth. Don't mind if I do. Let's take a romantic photo with Vincent. This is a random assortment of people for prom. No wonder she's so sad. Her friends bailed on prom and didn't tell her. But at least our boyfriend's here who we're in love with and is always supporting us. Hopefully we take a cute photo, but she's, she's feeling sad. So I would not be surprised if their romantic photo does not turn out well. They seem to have hearts. Okay, maybe, maybe the romantic took photos were actually quite cute. Oh, look at those two. She's gonna go to the front and listen for who gets the prom royalty. She's checking the photo and judging herself. We're gonna listen to Arav, the chaperone, announce who's won. And look at that, Jester is Deshaun and royalty is Vincent. Our boys both won with a total of one vote each. Oh, look at our man. And look at our former crush. We do have a camera in our inventory as always. So let's take a photo with Vincent. Oh my God, look how cute he looks with his little crown and they have prom behind them. This is a very sweet photo, I love it. It breaks my heart that there's gonna have to be cheating in this relationship, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna slow dance with Vincent, but yeah, not like the best prom, that's for sure. Oh, look at them little dancing. So cute. We love it. She's like, good job, my darling. There's an after party. We're gonna go obviously to the after party and we're gonna bring Vincent. I can't believe all my friends didn't show up to prom though. I'm kind of annoyed. Oh my God, there's my friend, Paige, Julius, Nicholas. Literally, what the heck? We're gonna take a photo of Vincent because he looks too good. Everyone's cheering him on like, go Vincent, looking good with your crown. And she's laughing like it's so funny. Girl, I'm so annoyed with you. She's in the background of my photos. This one's perfect. I love it. Look at that. I think she should get in a fight with Paige because that was so rude that Paige did not show up. She's moonbathing. Of course she is. Are you about school? Yeah, they're going to get into a little argument because she's feeling really sad about herself and her friends all bailed on her. Yeah, she's enraged. What the heck? Can we like talk with her? What's your deal, girl? We're getting in a fight. Why? Sh she's cheering me on. It feels like she's being rude. She's like being passive when she's like, yeah, go Paige, prom queen. You're like, you know, I didn't get prom queen and you didn't even show up. And she's like, well, yeah, because no one wanted you to be there. The only reason you're here is because your boyfriend got prom king. They are not having a good combo. Oh my God. And she just left. Paige just bailed. Did everyone else bail? Too. Nicholas is still here. Is my boyfriend? My boyfriend's still here. Tell him you're my favorite person. Be like, you're the only person that I, I like and trust. Everybody else just feels like they walk out on me or they don't care. He loved it. He was like, thanks, sweetie. There she goes. She's feeling confident. Okay, let's get a romantic ride with Vincent on one of these roller coasters at 1 a.m. She's exhausted, but they're gonna go ride in the tunnel of love. Crush. 
The stars have aligned and River takes her crush on the cuddle carts where all good relationships begin. The lighting, the music, the em employer awkwardly standing in the corner changing a light bulb. Everything the beginning of a budding romance needs. The time has come. Does River take the first step and attempt to start some romance or does she take it easy and keep it casual? Oh no, she's gonna start some romance. Things don't go as well as River would have liked apparently being asked to avo cuddle while holding up an avocado isn't as romantic as the interest nets that it would be. Oh no, River. Vincent politely laughs and scoots towards the opposite side of the cart. The employee in the corner shakes their head and gives a thumbs down in response to the bat. It's because it's feeling forced now because she's so sad. He's like, hey, I don't want to take advantage of you when you're sad. Like, your cat just died. So rough going, but they're still literally madly in love with each other. Look, at, I mean, look at the love bar. It just, it's just, you know, ups and downs, ups and downs. That's okay, girl. You're just too sad to go. But maybe whisper your admiration for him. Be like, you're just such a good guy, Vincent. I really appreciate that you, but I think it's time for us to tell him goodnight. It's 2.30 AM. I'm pretty sure we're past curfew, even though they never gave us a curfew, but I feel like they would though. Can we just like give him a little hug? Goodbye. Under the little lights. No, we are not getting another phone call. Who died? Trinity Abe. Okay, that's mom's bestie, but probably doesn't help. Our mom is probably calling us to come home because her friend died. Poor River had a rough go of the last few days and so did her evil little sister. This poor family's really been through it, but at least we successfully got our goal to be an A student. And we got in a fight with our best friend, which we're gonna have to go crawling back to her after probably because there's no way that Paige is ever going to say she's sorry for not inviting us to whatever they ditched prom for. But our boyfriend did get prom royalties. That was very cool. We got to take cute photos with him. And even though Vincent told us that maybe we shouldn't make out on the cuddle carts, uh, we're still madly in love with him. But let me know if you guys want in the next episode to just a get this girl out of graduating early and aged up. I think I'm leaning towards that myself. I'll actually ask our Patreon members as well for their opinion. So I'll get plenty of opinions about this and make a decision in the next one. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!